Welcome back party people, my name is Daryl. Today we're gonna be looking at the new Divi theme feature that they have released. Now this got a lot of attention and it's called scroll effects. Now, in case you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen this new update or feature, I'm gonna kind of go through with it and just kind of give you an example of things you can do with it. Now this right here is one of Divi's uh, default layouts that they give you and you can see we have this bottle of beer right here. Now, um, I'm actually gonna animate this bottle of beer when I scroll down on the page. So let's do that. Now there's various ways on how you can do this. You can actually do, do it for the specific module. You can do it for the specific row. Um, you can do it for the specific like teal section. So inside of the row. But uh, just for total purposes, I'll just do the actual image. So here I have the bottle of beer and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the advanced section right here and go to scroll effects. Now again, remember every single section has the scroll effects option. So the modules have it and also every row does as well. So that is a pretty neat feature. Now right here we have different options. We have horizontal, fading in, fading out, scaling up, rotating and blur. Now I'll just do something very basic for now. I'll just do the vertical motion and I will enable this and here you can see that we have different options now. We have the starting offset, mid offset, the ending offset, and then you have the viewport bottom and the viewport top. Now, personally, the best way I can say to learn this is just by trial and error. Just mess around with it, get comfortable, and see how the animation works for you. So for example, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this to around 40%. And now when I scroll down the page, you're gonna see that the image will actually animates so you see that oh there it goes and then of course you can you know change this to something like 60 percent and then go ahead and scroll down and this is actually really cool because clients love this stuff they love it they love the 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 flashy stuff they love the they love the javascript they love this stuff because every time i had a client they were like oh can you do what this thing does on amazon and i'm like honey like no i can't like that's that's a very big uh you know it's a very big uh, project but with this uh feature you are sure to impress your clients now over here we have different options in fact you can even stack the options so let's say for instance i want to do a horizontal motion and also i want to kind of have a vertical motion as well so what i'll do over here is put this to around 65 percent and now when i scroll down you can see how it's actually going vertical and horizontal at the same time look at that look at we can we can play a game here <laughs> you know so this is a really cool feature it's really neat and it's simplistic it's super easy to use this i mean all you need to do is just turn on the options and you're done so here i'll go ahead and go to no and let's just do one more. Let's just do one more for craps and giggles. Actually, let's do it for the whole row here. Let, let's get cocky over here. Let's let's do over this or let's, uh, the advanced section, scroll effects, and we can do blur, I guess. Let's do let's do blur. You guys want to do blur? Let's do blur. So here we go. We'll, we'll do blur. And here you can kind of see I'm scrolling down. It's blurry. I can't see. I need glasses. And then as you come into focus or as you come down into the page, the page will come into focus or the entire row will. So I just find that this feature was just super easy to use. I mean, when I first saw that feature and I'm like, ah, it's going to be a lot of options. It's going to be really difficult. But of course, the guys at Elegant Themes, they've made it really, really simplistic. Now, of course, you can control the blur by doing like the starting, the mid and the ending point. But for um, if you're doing blur, I don't think you'd want mid blur because that means it's always blurry. I mean, there would be, I, I don't know, maybe there's a situation where you'd want it always blurry. Like here, I'll just give you an example. So if I were to scroll down right here, it's always going to be blurry. So <laughs> you don't want that. So you want to make sure that you have it set to zero pixels, etc. So you can have fun with that feature. I thought it's a really, really cool feature. And again, it works for every single module, it works for every row, and it's just really easy to use. I mean, you can you can get super creative with this, and when your clients see this, they are gonna love it. Now, other Divi news, besides this new feature they released, they are now introducing a marketplace. So Divi is now creating a marketplace. And I, uh, there was rumors going around before this, and, and, and people caught wind of it, I think. And um, I, I guess it's not a big surprise, but they've decided to put all of the Divi products onto their websites. Now they're offering the standard rate. So they're just keeping it basic. They're not doing like a 90%, 80% share, 70% um, commission. 
and uh, there's no exclusive what's the word? exclusivity requirements. What that means is saying you can put them on other marketplaces. Now, there's really only other two marketplaces. There's Divi Cake and there's Elegant Marketplace. Um, Divi Cake has, uh, you know, they actually have, I mean, basically they all have the same products. I mean, you're going to find the same products on Elegant Marketplace as on Divi Cake. Um, I do favor Divi Cake more than Elegant Marketplace because I feel that Elegant Marketplace, they just lack quality. I think they just let anyone out there just submit layouts. I don't want to pick on them. Should we, should we pick? No, 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 no. I, I can't. I can't. Not today. Not today. We'll, we'll do it next time. We'll do it. We'll check out their child themes next time. Actually, let's just let's just uh, let, let me let me let me take a look here. Let's let's see if they got anything new over here. I'd like to I'd like to take a look here. Here we go. So these are some of the child themes, and um, I'm surprised I haven't seen mine on here. Actually, you know, <laughs> to be honest, uh, it's, uh, that's okay. But uh, they they have some good layouts. Just give them a chance, you know. Uh, Divi Cake as well, but. Um, Elegant Marketplace, I'm sorry, Elegant Themes is now saying they're going to open up their own marketplace. So this could potentially be somewhat of a threat to Elegant Marketplace and Divi Cake, you know, because now Elegant Themes is saying they want to have it on their website. Personally, I think Elementor needs this because I don't even think Divi needs it, actually, to be honest. I don't think they really even need a marketplace because we already have Divi Cake and Elegant Marketplace. And I find that those websites actually kind of have a decent... Um, I, I guess control over their developers and authors. Uh, but Elementor, man, those plugins are everywhere. I don't even know where to start with uh, with Elementor. It's like those there's there's so many plugins and they're so congested and it's so saturated. I think Elementor needs a marketplace way more than Divi, to be honest. But uh, what do you guys think of the marketplace? Do you think that's a good idea? I think that's a bad idea. I personally, I'm like, I guess I, whatever about it. I don't even know if they have an affiliate program, which would be interesting. Do I do I make money off this? Will I make money off this? I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so, guys. So, but I I will still recommend uh, Divi products and child themes as well. Um, one of my favorite ones, I'll just tell you guys right now, is probably Mark Hendrickson. Uh, I think they have. Uh, he has a lot of nice child themes. As far as plugins goes, you know, I think that now that Divi's pushing out more and more features, I find that these these uh, plugins are just becoming more useless and there's no disrespect to the developers I'm just saying that Divi just has everything like I don't know what you would need I mean uh, um, a, a counter for Divi Divi I think they already have a counter don't they I think they do I think that's one of the modules they have but um, some of these I'm just saying ah, they're just not really needed maybe the mega menu I think that's I think that's it you know blurbs no Visual, no, no, no. I don't know. You guys can go through this list and uh, and let me know what you think. But um, that is the feature. That is the news for uh, Divi. If you have not seen this update, be sure to check it out. If you want to go ahead and purchase Divi, I will leave a discount for everyone that is watching this in the description below. Um, I'm going to be having more videos on Divi. You guys, actually, to be honest, I haven't been uploading a lot of videos because I got super sick. I had a lot of visa problems because I'm in Thailand right now and I had visa problems. I couldn't come back to Thailand, so I had to get an elite visa and then I got super sick. And then I thought I had the damn coronavirus. So when I got sick, I rushed to the hospital and I was like, check my blood. I want to make sure I don't have the coronavirus, you know, because uh, right now, I mean, there's some cases of it in Thailand. I mean, there's cases of it everywhere in the world, but uh, I think, yeah, I think Thailand has, has like 15 or 20 cases of coronavirus. So... You know, when I got sick, you know, I went to the hospital. It turns out I had food poisoning. I got food poisoning, I think, like twice in like five months. I don't know. <laughs> it's just bad luck, you know. But again, guys, uh, check this feature out and let me know what you think about everything in this video, about the marketplaces, and also this new update. My name is Zero Wilson, and I will see you guys all in the next video.